the world has really changed. It used to be a very slow world or peaceful world is no more. I mean, if you look at the history, you would observe that there are cycles, good times, bad times. There are economic crises, there are economic prosperity. And the expert would say that it's usually a six, seven year cycle. Well, since the start of this century, we are not seeing any cycles. It's always crisis. It's always uncertainty. Since the global financial crisis of 2008, 2009, 2010, we thought that, okay, time would, this would pass and then there would be good times. We continue to remain in the uncertain phase. Of course, there were some settling down of the things. It was not that peak of crisis, but somehow at some level, some crises were always there. And then COVID came. And then we realized that, well, it's not going to over. This is the new world. This is the new reality. This is the new normal. And we need to adjust accordingly. People in this generation, all of us, really have faced this change that from a more stable world to a VUCA world. And if you really want to survive in this world and not only really survive, but thrive, grow, we need to adjust ourselves to this VUCA world. That is why we are here. Most of you are from the finance profession and finance profession is going through radical changes. I'm sure you are aware and we'll talk about it more. Business environment is changing fast. And so much so that new industries are emerging and old are becoming obsolete. Think of this. Where would you categorize companies like Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook? Which industry they are part of? They are in almost many industries. That is how industries are emerging and getting obsolete. Traditional education is becoming irrelevant. So yeah, education is still important. High school education is fundamental, but we are talking about advanced education. And advanced education is becoming irrelevant because the things are changing so fast that education industry is not able to cope with that. So employers are saying that, look, if I hire someone new, I need results. I don't need their degrees unless they have right relevant skills. In reality, if you notice more and more Modern companies like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, they are not listing any degrees requirement anymore. They are listing them as preferred, but what their requirement is that certain skills based on jobs, they need skills. And skills you could develop without education. You don't need to go. I mean, it's good to have education, formal education, but skills could be developed directly. And lifespan of skills is shortening. So many young professionals, finance professionals ask me that, should I learn Python? I said, yeah, you can learn Python, but just be careful because two years from now, I don't know whether why Python would still be in demand or not because something else could take its place. Changes are coming so fast that even things which looks today very popular, very useful, may be obsolete in two years of time. So you need to be careful. Where are you investing your time? And career path is getting blurred. Career choices are becoming complicated. Look at your work environment and you would relate it. And the current business environment, fierce competition in every industry, wherever you go, you will see there are fierce competition going on, much more demanding. And there are growing economic concerns. All the time there are concerns because of the VUCA world, there are always concerns whether the growth would be there, demand would be there or not. And emergence of new business models is not only that new technology would disrupt any business or geographical challenges would be there, but anyone would come out with an innovative new business model and they could disrupt any existing industry. So that new business model does not require new technology, any new ideas, new ideas required for that, but not new technologies or not much capital. My favorite example is Booking.com. Booking.com is only online platform for making reservations in the hotel, but Booking.com has impacted the major, major brands, the big brands in the hospitality industries, and they're all dependent upon Booking.com. And Booking.com not based on a new technology. They just put together existing technologies available and combined it in a business model, which was very robust and addresses and solved customer pains. That is why they dominated the hospitality industry now. And of course, rapid introduction of new technologies. Keep in mind that why technology is very rapidly increasing is because of the five technology giants, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and Google. And they have a lot of money. They are sitting on billion and billion of dollars of cash. Every one of them want to capture the world. So their competitive forces have increased the rapid adoption of technology everywhere. And every business model and every industry has become at risk for that part. So this is really a VUCA environment. This is a simple chart showing the change in the average life of skills. So 
Around in 70s, for example, the average life of an Eskil was 15 years. Today, it's only three years. That is how the world is changing. 